Hello everyone. Welcome to our OAT speaking channel, Sones Hub. Today, we will be discussing about an anxious mother concerned about her three-year-old child who is admitted in the hospital. Let's go through the task. Setting, Children's Hospital Ward. You are talking to the mother of Elizabeth. Elizabeth is a three-year-old girl who has come to be admitted with an ear abscess. Her mother is anxious about how she will settle in. You need information about the child's normal routine and habits to prepare a nursing care plan. Task 1. Reassure the mother about the care Elizabeth will receive. 2. Ask whether she has any siblings she usually plays with at home. 3. Ask about her normal routines at home. Like usual bedtime, morning or afternoon sleep. Food preferences, able to feed herself. Is she fully toilet trained? Has she brought any favorite toys or books with her? 4. Outline visiting hours as 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. But, stress that overnight stays are possible in a special visiting room. Let's start the role play. Good morning. Very good morning. My name is Danny. I'm one of the registered nurses working in this children's hospital ward. May I know your name and relationship with Elizabeth? My name is Rose, and I'm the mother of Elizabeth. All right. Nice to meet you, Rose. Thank you. Rose, you look so worried. May I know what is bothering you? Nurse, I'm really anxious about my daughter's present situation. My girl is only three years old. And, it is the first time she is being admitted in a hospital. There is nothing to be overly concerned about, Rose. Your daughter Elizabeth is in the right place. She will be all right. Currently, she is having a medical condition called ear abscess. It is an infection in the ear. There will be pain and pus collection. It can be treated with an antibiotic ear drops. That's good. But, it's really hard for her to manage it. She is not able to adjust with the hospital environment. I'm so much nervous about that. Look, Rose. Your daughter is in the safe hands. For surely, everything will be all right. All the staff in this hospital are very caring and loving. So, Elizabeth will adjust with us. There is no need to get worried. Okay. I trust you. Before proceeding further, may I get some details about Elizabeth? Yes, sure. Do Elizabeth have any siblings she usually play with? Yes. She have two siblings. Joan and Sam. Joan is five years old and Sam is seven. They used to play together every day. Three of them are so close to each other and are lovable. Perfect. I'm glad to hear that. Now, may I ask some personal information about Elizabeth? Yeah, you can. Can you please tell me about Elizabeth's sleeping pattern? Will she sleep at afternoon or in the morning? She usually sleep in the morning. But also, she will take a nap in afternoon. Good. And, what about the food preferences? Is she able to feed by herself? She is able to feed by herself. But, sometimes she wants assistance. She loves to eat soft food and sugary drinks. At times, it's really hard to feed her. That's okay. We will take care of that. May I know that? Is she fully toilet drained? No, not at all. At home, every time she wear the nappies. That is more comfortable for her. All right. And, has she brought any favorite toys or books with her? Yes. She loves to play with her blue unicorn every minute. Also, has brought some of the coloring books. Everything is in her bag. That's fine. Thank you, Rose, for providing all the information. Now, I will prepare a care plan for Elizabeth with all these details. There is nothing to be alarmed about her. That's grand. Rose, do you have any other concerns? Yes. Can you please mention about the flexibility of visiting hours? Sure, that's a reasonable question. 
The visiting hours start from 11 in the morning and end at 8 in the evening. Also, it is possible to stay at overnight in the special visiting room. Oh, I'm so happy to hear about that. But, as I have to look after my other two kids, it will be not as much as possible to stay in the hospital. That's okay. I do perfectly understand your situation. Your daughter will be all right. Don't get tensed. Thank you, nurse. Is there anything else I can do for you? Nothing. You have cleared everything. All right. Thank you, nurse, for your cooperation. If you have any queries, please contact us. We will be available 24 hours. Thank you, nurse, for your valuable time. I wish your daughter a speedy recovery. Bye. Thank you. Bye. That's the end of your speaking section. For more videos, please subscribe our Oat Speaking channel, Sones Hub, and press the bell icon. Also, comment your suggestions and share it with your friends. God bless you. Thank <laughs> you.